All right, next thing that we're gonna talk about is proper SQL query syntax in ArcPy. Most queries that you will use in ArcPy will be stored in a variable. And that variable is what you're gonna be putting into any tool, so any geoprocessing tool that requires in its logic a where clause for the tool to work. So why do we do this? Well, it just makes our scripting of our ArcPy tools cleaner because we don't have really long strings of information within the parameters of the tool. Just like you've already been doing in the class, you store a lot of those tool parameters and variables just to make your scripted line of the geoprocessing tool cleaner. So in ArcPy, an additional thing with our SQL queries, when they're put into a tool either as their own or if you store them within a variable, the entire query string is also put into quotation marks. So here down, down here we'll see name is equal to Ohio, but notice there's additional things that are happening here. There is a set of double quotes around the entire string to identify what's going to be stored into the query variable. So we have to talk about managing our quotation marks in Python and ArcPy. Remember way back to the beginning when we were learning about the basics of Python and how it deals with quotation marks. No matter which type of quotation mark you're using, Python is always going to be looking for the pair. If you start off with a single quote, it's looking for the next single quote that it's going to see, and it's going to see that as its pair. The first double quote you use, it's going to look for the next double quote and identify it as its pair. So your first inclination might be to do this. Can adhere to the conventions of the double quotes along each side of the name, the field, is equal to, and use the convention of single quotes around the state name, and then just put that all within another set of quotation marks. However, this is going to cause Python problems. And it's gonna cause Python problems because Python wants to match those quotation marks in pairs. So notice what happens. When you put the entire query inside of another set of single quotes, the next single quote it finds is the one to the left of Ohio. So it's identifying that as a string and then everything after it is a set of things that doesn't have proper quotation marks around it. So that's gonna be flagged as a syntax error in your code. To accommodate this, we use the escape character, that backslash. So what that does is that escape character makes Python ignore what's coming next. So we're gonna set up our query as equal to, we have a single quote, name with double quotes around it is equal to, we're gonna escape out of that first quotation mark, escape out of the next one, so that when it's trying to pair up that first single quote, it's gonna to have to go all the way to the end of the string to find that other pair for itself. And then Python is able to identify the two escaped out quotation marks around Ohio as being quotation marks to identify that string. But what you have to do is you have to get it to see past both of those and the initial look for matching up that first quotation mark. So that's why you see those escape characters around anything that has a second set of quotation marks. There are other options. You could put your entire query string with, around in double quotes. And if you're using double quotes, you would need to escape out the, the quotation marks around your field name where you're using double quotes so that it would skip over those to get all the way to the end of the string. You could do that as well. The last convention is you can also use triple quotes. So triple quotes are a thing. You can use a set of three quotation marks to encompass your attribute query. Now that said, I will say that the most common one is that first one that you saw there where we're escaping out the single quotes. That doesn't mean that's what you have to do, but when you're looking at other people's code and you're looking at a lot of the code that comes from the ArcPy modules and comes from ArcPy things online and in textbooks, more often than not, you will see individuals escape out those single quotes. All right, so here is just a, a summary slide for you on Python quotations within a Python window, just reminding you that it, everything is gonna get put into a variable. Your SQL query will get put into a variable. Your entire SQL query must be within a quotation marks. And within there, the field name has to be in a quotation mark. And if it's a text field, that has to be in a quotation mark as well. So this was just letting you see those three methodologies of how this is gonna look if you're typing in to Python idle for matching up those quotation marks. So you'll see the use of escaping out for the second set of single quotes. You'll see the example for escaping out for the first set of um, 
double quotes, and then you'll also see the example of using the triple quotes around all of the query itself. All right, so that was your summary on all things SQL querying, and now it's time for hands-on.